Hi everyone, sorry for the delay. This is the Texas Cowgirls Network for lack of a better term. And what we'd like to do is interact with fans with you and you with us and everything else since you guys have been following us since Super Bowl. And you actually followed us last week in our intro at the Hot Ten Roof. So what we'd like to do is give you a brief look at our life uh, or a day in the life of the Texas Cowgirls. And right now, what they're doing is they're in the middle of a study session, and the coaches are asking them questions. We're going to ask them football terminology, so we're going to let you come along with us for the ride and let you understand what it is and what it takes to be a Texas Cowgirl, which is one of the Sugar and Spice Football League teams or one of the main anchor teams. So with no further ado, after the tasks and terminology questions, we're going to go into boot camp and we're going to bring you along with us. We're going to make sure that you come along with us for this ride this season. 2012 is going to be all about you, the fans. And so with no further ado, follow us along. Good job. 
or a back. Okay, next one. It lines up directly across from the center on the D line of scrimmage. Hold on, I don't want to bet. Hold on, hold on. I already answered the question. Let me go to the grand Hold on. What is the next question? Thank you.
penalty for a member of the defensive team touches a member of the offensive team before the blow is high. So when these girls snap a ball, run a play, tackle somebody, run a pass, score a touchdown, they know what they're doing. So watch out. Page. Uh, let's see. 
after the coaches get them all squared away, maybe we can talk to the coaches for a couple seconds right before the next round of stuff that we do. I know this may seem boring to you people at home, but we'll cut for a minute and then we'll come back in about five. We're going to take a short break while they sweat this test. Test two. Year two. you to two main coaches that have been training and teaching the 2012 Texas Cowgirl team. This is Coach Trevino, Brandon Trevino from Texas State and also from Golds on FM78. This is Jason Thomas. He's with Valley's uh, Fitness and he is also one of our defensive coaches and he's been helping getting the girls into shape and getting them conditioned and getting the knowledge uh, into their heads so that we can get ready for this next season. So. You guys have any observations about what's been going on and what you've seen and about the uh, progress of the girls in six or seven, actually today's the seventh day, right? Uh, seven actual visits. Um, what have you seen? What has been your most impressive moment in those seven visits? And then I'm going to ask you the same question. Okay. Uh, well, right off the bat, I can say that I do see that the girls, they do have heart. I know, especially when I first uh, came on the scene, it seemed to me that they weren't really used to this type of intensity or the type of workouts that I brought to the team. Um, but they, the ones that have stuck with it, you know, they've done an awesome job. They've, uh, they've uh, continued to progress. I've seen uh, plenty of them. Uh, you know, their, just their strength, their endurance is picked up. Um, but I'm really impressed. That's one thing. I'm all about uh, dedication and teamwork as well as discipline. And um, they're learning. I mean, they still get their penalties every once in a while. Have to do up downs, but for the most part, they are coming around. So I see good things for the uh, for the season for the awesome. Cowgirls. Awesome, Jason. Coach Brandon pretty much expressed my same feelings uh, as far as you know their uh, physical attributes and you know endurance for the game. Um, what I am impressed is how well they are doing. Uh, I didn't expect them to do as well as they are. They are fighting hard, and they are continuing to fight hard. Um, as far as game knowledge, they have quite a bit of it. Um, they're doing pretty well. I'm really surprised. I really am. Okay, if you had to give me one thing that you're most excited about going into this 2012 season, what would it be? Um, just leading, just leading the team to victories. I'm mean, all about competition, all about winning. So uh, with the group of girls, the uh, the base that we have, the ones, the dedication that I've seen, I'm looking forward to going in and uh, having a winning season. How about you? What, what is the most exciting thing? If you had to pick one thing, I mean, I know there's a lot, right? But if you had to pick one thing that going into the 2012 season that you'd most like to see out of them, what would it be? You know, everyone wants to win, but I'm a defensive player. I want to see a lot of hits. I want to see hits. <laughs> I can't wait to see some of these girls hit, lay out some of the, some of the ladies on the opposite team. I can't wait to see that. Okay, yikes, that's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, from my perspective, anyways. I, I kind of thought they'd say something like, you know, from the, the woman aspect of it. So let me bring that from my perspective, uh, if I could. I'd like to see the new girls or the rookies learn the game and understand it with a full knowledge of it and go away with this with stories to tell their friends, families, um, their children and their grandchildren in the future. Um, because we know they've got a life beyond this point, but um, if they could look back at their life and go, you know, the one thing that stands out in my life was my experience